Mr. President, I wanted to come to the floor and give special tribute to our Sergeant of Arms, Terry Gaynor, who's retiring. If you're not from Chicago and you don't know the scene very well, you may not understand what I'm about to say. Let me make it clear. When you ask where Terry Gaynor is from, and someone says Chicago, you would then say, and? He would add, the South Side. And Beverly. And St. Barnabas. When you report your parish, in that section of Chicago, you've really identified yourself as being part of that great city and part of a great American Catholic tradition, Irish Catholic tradition in many respects, that Terry Gaynor represents. I think about him today and what his life has meant, but first I think of his family name. There aren't many names like the Gaynor family name that carry with it so much respect in the city of Chicago. I think of his relatives that I've worked with, the families uh, that are related to him that I know, uh, neighbors to staffers. I, it just, the list goes on and on of the Gainers who've made an impact on the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois. Few can make the claim that Terry can make in terms of what he has given to the city, the state of Illinois, and to our nation. Terry Gaynor, of course, is a sergeant at arms today and has announced his retirement soon after seven and a half years serving in that capacity, or at least serving in the United States Senate with the Capitol Police and with the sergeant at arms office. He has served longer than any sergeant at arms since World War II. Terry served as sergeant at arms and doorkeeper since January of 2007. His accomplishments are so many. Do not underestimate the responsibility that has been given to him and the men and women who work with him. This building is a target for people who would bring destruction to this building and death to those who visit. Sadly, we've seen graphic examples of that in just the recent years that have passed. It's been Terry's job, both with the Capitol Police and now with the Sergeant at Arms Office, to keep us safe and to keep this business of the Senate working every single day. Terry had the background to achieve it. He volunteered to serve our nation in Vietnam. After his service, he retired as a captain in the Naval Reserves in the year 2000. He earned his bachelor's degree from St. Benedict's College. He continued his family's proud tradition of law enforcement by serving in the Chicago Police Department for nearly two decades. As Senator McConnell mentioned earlier, over a century of service by the Gaynor family to the Chicago Police Department it was carried on by, te by Terry. He obtained a Master's of Science degree and his law degree from DePaul University. He was appointed Superintendent of the Illinois State Police by Governor Jim Edgar and held that position for seven years. He was then called to Washington, D.C. to serve as second in command at the District of Columbia Metropolitan Police Department. In 2002, Terry became chief of the United States Capitol Police and was instrumental in facilitating the growth of that force, the substantial growth of that force, after the challenging days of circling 9-11-2001. After a brief stint in the private sector, Terry returned to public service when he was appointed by Majority Leader Harry Reid to serve as Sergeant at Arms. Harry Reid himself, a former Capitol Hill policeman, understood the responsibility and understood Terry was the right person for the job. As I noted earlier, during his tenure at Sergeant at Arms, Terry's done an exemplary job of balancing security and public access to the Capitol and to the Senate. His steady management hand, his quick smile, his constant presence in the halls of the Capitol and the Senate office buildings are going to be greatly missed. Mr. President, I want to thank Terry Gaynor personally for his friendship, support, the little favors which you've done for me and for every member of the Senate to make our lives and the lives of our family better. You have truly added to this great institution as much as any person who served because you have made your mark and you've kept us safe and you kept the millions of visitors during your tenure safe as well. That's quite an accomplishment, Terry. Congratulations to you and especially to Irene, who has been patient throughout it all 
with her own career and her own effort raising the family and making her mark professionally, the two of you are quite an example to all of us of public service at its best. Thanks, Terry, for your service. And now comes the tough responsibility of following in the steps of Terry Gaynor. Mr. President, Majority Leader Reid has announced that Drew Willison, who is in the chamber here today, will be replacing Terry as the next Sergeant at Arms and doorkeeper officially on Monday. Drew has spent more than five years and two stints as Deputy Sergeant at Arms, and he's learned from the best, Terry Gaynor. Prior to his work in the Sergeant at Arms office, Drew was a senior member of the Senate Appropriations Committee staff where we worked together. He had roles in the Energy and Water Subcommittee effort as well as the Legislative Branch Appropriations. His experience and knowledge of the Legislative Branch will serve him well in his new capacity. I congratulate Drew and wish him the very best of luck. Terry's service as Sergeant at Arms has set the bar very high, but I know, Drew, that you're up for the challenge. Mr. President, let me end by thanking again Terry, Irene Gaynor, the Gaynor family, and all that support them for unselfishly giving to this Senate such an extraordinary contribution, for sharing their husband, father, grandfather with our home state of Illinois and with this great nation for so many years. Terry and Irene have more than earned the right to, to move to the next chapter in their life and celebrate that time with their six children and 14 grandchildren. I congratulate Terry on his distinguished public service career for his accomplishments as a law enforcement officer, <coughs> decorated veteran, and a Senate Sergeant at Arms and doorkeeper. Most importantly, I thank Terry for his friendship. Mr. President, I yield the floor.